Motorsport has always been an integral part of Porsche's development. This link is expressed here between the GT3 RSR race car and the GT3 RS 4 litre road car. Mr. Christen, Director of Porsche Motorsport, looking behind me here we have this very battle scarred, authentic looking race car. Can you tell us a little bit about the history of this car please? I mean that was the car that uh, took part in the 24 hours of the Nürburgring this year with Olaf Manta and his team. And uh, yeah, after a very uh, exciting battle, it finally won this race. And, and what is the link between this car and the road car? How much of the technology would spill over into the road car? It actually always depends on what exactly you compare, but if you take that specific car here, it's a 2009 uh, model year uh, RSR. If you take, for instance, the engine, uh, we introduced the 4-litre engine in uh, 2008, if I'm right, absolutely. And uh, in, the pa in the back there you see the RS 4-litre that now took over this engine. If you look at suspension, the philosophy how, develop, how we develop the performance of the car, it's exactly the same between the RSR and the GT3 RS street car. The aerodynamics, the exact philosophy, what the driver should get as response when he drives the car. I mean, there are necessary changes that you need to have a very competitive race car versus a highly competitive road car that you can beautifully use for, for track days. But the idea behind it, what you get as feedback and how you drive these cars, that's very close. So, so it must be very important for a manufacturer then to, to utilise that development in motorsport and then roll it into the road cars, is that the case? Absolutely, these cars can develop something like 540, 550 horsepower if you don't run them with an air restrictor and in the meantime even with a street car fulfilling all worldwide uh, legal regulations you have 500 horsepower, I mean if that is not a close link between racing and, and street car development, I don't know. <laughs> and what's the future of motorsport with Porsche then? We've seen cars <laughs> like GT3 R Hybrid coming into the race car scene. What, what, what do you see as the future for Porsche motorsport? I mean the most important project for the, for the closer future is definitely the, the LMP1 project that has been announced earlier this year that would, will bring Porsche back uh, to the 24 hours of Le Mans and to the top level of endurance racing. But on the other hand, one thing that absolutely uh, goes without saying, GT racing remains absolutely important for us because it, it gives us the link between production car development and motorsports. And I mean, that's part of the heritage of Porsche. Definitely when you go to technology, this is why we came up with this GT3 R hybrid, get modern drivetrain technology, advanced drivetrain technology into production cars and it's much easier to do that in racing because you can change everything within very short time. But first you have to understand how you have to perform with a new system like that, that it makes sense to integrate it, integrate it into, a, into a car like a 911. And we have come a quite long way with a GT3 R hybrid and it has influenced the design of the 918 Spider already. And it will definitely also influence the design of the coming LMP1 car. And from there it will find its way into the standard production cars. Well, Mr. Christian, it all sounds very exciting. Thanks very much for chatting to us and all the best for the future. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you.